What up, Blockchain Nation? What up, YouTube? This is Remy. Once again, saying a big thank you for taking the time to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. And don't forget to get, hit the bell so that you can get uh, weekly notifications when we release these videos. So, thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so quickly, I wanna talk about what I believe is one of the fastest ways of becoming a blockchain developer. Now, uh, if you watch this channel, you've noticed I've talked about blockchain technology and how we have different protocols and we have different platforms. Uh, we have Hyperledger, the Hyperledger Greenhouse, uh, we have EOS, we have NEM, we have Cardano, and I'm sure you've heard of a whole um, host of different uh, blockchain platforms as well as the cryptocurrencies behind those blockchain platforms. Probably we'll do a, a, an episode in the future about how these cryptocurrencies and how these platforms are different. Anyways, but for today we want to talk about blockchain development as it pertains to building on top of Ethereum. As of this recording, the most popular platforms are Ethereum and Hyperledger. Well, the Hyperledger Greenhouse, there's Fabric, there's Silo, and a whole lot of other um, projects under Hyperledger. So right now, there are two main ones, Hyperledger and Ethereum. So today, we're going to talk about building on Ethereum. I'm going to use a, a tool that was provided recently by Consensus, and I think it's really awesome. It's called the Consensus uh, Developer Toolkit, and here it is. You can download it from the consensus site. I think it's a very, very, very cool resource. It kind of has all that you need in one place. So you can use this to uh, fast track your learning, in my personal opinion. So this job kit, excuse me, from consensus, I think is a great resource. I think it's very, very cool. And um, yeah, I mean, it has pretty much everything condensed in one place so you can use it as a reference as you start your career and as you learn how to become a blockchain uh, developer on Ethereum. So if you're ready, say I'm ready. And uh, here we go. So basic int um, introduction talks about um, the Consensus Academy's Developer On Demand program. I'll just show you that real quick. That's this, if you have the time, you can take a look at this. It might be a program that you want to partake in. If, if you do, that's fine. If not, that's fine as well. But um, I haven't taken it myself. I always like talking about stuff that I have done. I can give you my personal opinion, but I haven't done this program. So hey, maybe somebody like it out there can do this program and let us know what it's like. But anyways, so the first thing it talks about this job kit is why you should become a blockchain developer. Because the blockchain industry is intellectually stimulating. I totally agree <laughs> but more than that it's still an emerging technology so getting involved early would be great imagine you were one of the guys who were involved in the internet in the early days today you'll be one of the uh, what should I call it the Facebook's the Zuckerberg's of today if you had gotten involved early so think about Facebook this is kind of like the new uh, the next generation of the internet, in my opinion, which is blockchain technology. So it's still an emerging technology. So it talks about why you should become a blockchain developer, which I think is really, really cool. It lets you um, know that blockchain companies offer remote work, which is good. I love working remote. And 29.2% developers think that blockchain technology is useful across many domains. It's cool. So if you have the time, you might want to take a look at this Stack Overflows 2019 developer survey. Uh, it's really cool. It's a survey put together, I think it's from some Stack Overflow, and they surveyed different uh, developers for, from full stack to back end, blah, blah, blah. And according to them, they believe that um, the blockchain technology is useful across many domains. So, first thing talked about is how I should become a blockchain developer. You can just take your time and read this, which is cool. All right, second thing is the industry's growth rate for blockchain developers. As you can see, the demand for blockchain developers is growing as of 2010 all the way to 2017. It's 2018's top five emerging jobs. So this report, just job kit, just tells you the why you should become a blockchain developer. And so the second thing here is, explains that the growth rate for blockchain developers is really growing. So this is a very, very good time to get involved. So, um, for example, jobs related to cryptocurrency and blockchain are rapidly increasing. As you can see, number of cryptocurrency related job postings are dramatically increasing. 
a lot of organizations are not using blockchain technology currently which is good because eventually when it begins to uh, move in that direction you will you already be in a great place because you already have the tools that you need all right third thing it covers is the typical salary of a blockchain developer so the median salary of a blockchain developer is around hundred twenty seven thousand dollars which is great with experienced individuals commanding upwards of $172,000, which is great. But also depends on where you live. If you live in the United States, if you live in India, I'm sure it's a different uh, fee if you live in, in Europe. So this is in US, these are US figures. So blockchain engineers are making between $150,000 to $175,000 in salary, which is great. Angel, this is a website for startups and angel investors and job seekers looking to work at startups. So they released a report, which is also cool. I won't hit this, but check it out. It talks about how even startups are, um, it'll be good to look for a job in a crypto startup because uh, there are a lot of crypto startups coming out and they're looking for people who have these skills. So that's a very good reason for you to become a blockchain developer. So this just talks about the typical salary of a blockchain uh, developer. The fourth thing it highlights is the firms that are hiring blockchain developers. Facebook, and that's awesome. Facebook has gotten into blockchain technology. I heard that they are releasing a Facebook coin. I don't know how true that is, but um, I know Facebook is picking up on the um, on blockchain. If you go online and check careers on Facebook, you see that they're looking for uh, developers who have experience with blockchain. So that's a great reason for you to get involved. IBM, Consensus, Deloitte, and hold the big. These are the big boys. So if the big boys are looking at blockchain, it'll be good for. It's a good sign that. You're, you're getting involved is great all right so fifth thing it covers is where to look for blockchain jobs angel list to me is a very great resource you can check out angel list on linkedin indeed crypto job list block tribe gitcoin even consensus is consistently hiring blockchain developers check out my previous video where i talked about um top five places to work in blockchain technology and consent this is why consensus is my number one because they're really really pioneers in this space so you can look in any of these sites to find out for, to look for um, developer jobs, which is just great. Well, now we're getting to the meat and potatoes of this report, which is good. Uh, the sixth thing talks about blockchain knowledge. These are the basic things you should know when you're trying to get into the space. Um, what's a consensus algorithm? If we click on this, it talks about uh, there are two different protocols that work to solve consensus. One is Paxos, the other one is Raft. So you can take your time and look at this and it's cool. Anyways. Mining, security and incentivization, proof of work versus pr proof of stake. Bitcoin uses a proof of work algorithm. Ethereum uses a proof of stake algorithm. If all this doesn't make sense, read through this uh, uh, part of the job kit. It talks about smart contracts, what's gas, gas price as you relating to Ethereum, what's sharding, uh, the scalability trilemma and token standards. The scalability trilemma is cool. It talks about how the blockchain systems can only at most have two of the following three properties which is either decentralized scalable or secure it doesn't have all three most of the time is that it, it, it's decentralized and scalable but not very secure or is decentralized and secure but having issues with scaling like um, bitcoin and ethereum as of this writing so definitely 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 you want to take a look at um these basic things on blockchain i mean there's more to it but if you understand these one two three four five six seven eight thing, things uh, it'll be a great place you're in, you're in a better position uh, in looking for in establishing yourself as a blockchain developer so read, it, read this as well the seventh thing it mentions talks about cryptography public key encryption private keys digital signatures has from hash function so this um, report if you check the glossary it highlights all these things so these are good things to know um, as you're learning about blockchain technology, basic cryptography. Blockchain is really a combination in, of a lot of things, but mainly distributed systems and um, cryptography. So cryptography is definitely something you want to take a look at. Right. The eighth thing this covers is programming languages, which is so cool. So different programming languages, depending on the type of Ethereum developer you want to become, there are several different programming languages that you should be familiar with. So it could be JavaScript, you know me, I'm a big JavaScript fan. Python, there are two main GitHubs for Ethereum. You can check these out. Solidity, which is similar to JavaScript. And I always say that you could just go out and learn Solidity, but it'd be a good place to um, learn JavaScript, then learn Solidity. Or you can just go out and learn Solidity like that. 
Go is a good one, Rust, Java, .NET, C++, and Ruby. So if you're working through what programming language to pick up, you can look through any of these. My personal recommendation will always be at this time will be JavaScript. So you can use this and then Solidity. But if you're already a developer on any of these platforms or languages already, then you're in a great place to just jump right in and start building um, decentralized applications on Ethereum. All right. Number nine, example of blockchains or DAP developer job description. So this is an example of what a typical uh, blockchain job looks like. So for instance, consensus blockchain protocol engineer job description. So sorry, blockchain protocol engineer at consensus. This is a job description. So strong backend development experience using Go, Rust, or Java. Hands-on experience in basic cryptography. This, this document did talk about you know, what basic concepts in cryptography are. Been able to explain consensus algorithms like Raft or Paxos, which is good because you can see that here. If you go check here on consensus algorithms, it explains that. Uh, no JS and JavaScript programming skills. Like you could have those. Be a fast learner. So this is just a, an idea of what a basic um, job description looks like if you want to be a protocol engineer, a blockchain protocol engineer at consensus. So that's a good one. Another example of a job description: DApp developer engineer job description, develop Ethereum smart contracts and solidity, create and test customer facing decentralized apps, blah, blah, blah. These are your responsibilities, but the skills they're looking for, understanding of blockchain technology, especially Ethereum, JavaScript, solidity, familiar with web 3 js and MetaMask. If you're wondering what that is, we're going to talk about that next. Experience with agile and test driven systems. So you can just look through this. So this is just an idea of, um, what a blockchain developer JD job description looks like, which is really, really cool. So that's what this document gives you. So I like this document. Like I said, it's one of the fastest ways to become a blockchain developer in my opinion, because this document gives you all those, all the things that you need to know condensed. Well, not all the things, but a foundation in one document, which is cool. The 10th thing would be top Ethereum developer resources. Now this is really, really cool. I'll just show you a few, for instance, Crypto Zombies. Now Crypto Zombies, is a teaching platform to teach existing developers or complete newcomers the ins and outs of developing on blockchain. So you can just open an account here on Crypto Zombies. I have one already. And then it's a cool resource to learn how to code. So it teaches you Solidity Path beginning beginner to intermediate smart contracts, how to build. So by playing this Crypto Zombie games, you this game, excuse me, it, it um, excuse me, brushes your skills or teaches you basic solidity and how to use um, solidity to build smart contracts and you're having fun while you're you know, playing this game. You're also learning how to code. And there are different platforms out there like that, but this is specifically, specifically for solidity, which is so cool. And then final last two things I'll highlight are, this is so cool. So this is the consensus Ethereum developer portal. I mean, it's so cool. So it, it, it it's a portal that kind of shows you the things that you need to learn or know if you want to build on Ethereum. For instance, if you're new to the Ethereum ecosystem, it talks about um, how you can sign up a Consensus Academy. Like I said, I haven't done that, so I don't know much about that. MetaMask is a browser Chrome extension. As you can see, I have it installed here. This is MetaMask. It's such a cool thing to have that you can use to build or test your Ethereum smart contracts because there are so many tests. It's, it's the main Ethereum network, but there are test networks that you can test on. So it's a Chrome extension, which allows you to interact with decentralized applications. It's really, really cool. So uh, it talks about smart contract languages that you need to learn, different IDs that you can use. You can use Atom, you can use Remix. Remix, which is a web-based IDE. And for me, I like using, as you can see, Visual Studio Code. Um, yeah, which is so cool. Then there are public test nets, as you can see the test nets that we have here. Happy to you. Thought I had you open. Uh, uh. So the test nets, as you can see, we have Rinkby, Test Network, Coven, Ropestein. So these are all test networks you can use to when you build your smart contracts, you can test them on uh, MetaMask using MetaMask on all these great test networks. If this, all this doesn't make sense, please read through this document and 
I promise you, you will be very cool. Now you can have a local test network that runs on your local machine. I have it installed here. It's called Ganache. And then Ganache is really cool. Let me just show you that real quick. So if I open up Ganache. So it's, it's similar to your public test networks. Like, um, so like for all these test networks, you need to have MetaMask installed or your uh, Remix IDE. And then you can test your smart contracts on all these test, test, test networks. Or if you do not want to do that, you can install Ganache which provides a local network place for this to hold on. Hmm. As you can see, I have Ganache installed. So Ganache is coming up. Um, yeah, Ganache is coming up. You can see it's cool. So this runs in my local or my local machine and I can do all the testing that I want to do shows me all the transactions and logs. It's a really, really cool tool to have that you can use to run your local, and you can do this, use this also with another tool called, um, you can use it with Truffle to test your smart contracts. Don't you not hate it when something just boom, explodes and leaves your head. Anyways, it also talks about front-end inter interface. I mean, we can do a whole show on just this document, but um, here we go, Truffle for smart contract testing. But just check out, this um, developer portal and basically it's kind of like a resource that shows all the things that you'll need you can just read through and play with um, some of this so lastly another cool resource is Cori.io and Cori.io is a nice place where you can learn stuff about Ethereum and blockchain technology full stack that tutorial series you can see there's just so much on this mm, i want to do another show on just on Cori alone but let's see so next another future episode i'll just walk through how you use um truffle and how you use ganache for a small cons to deploy a small smart contract on your local machine those are developer resources and there's also gitcoin which is a place where you can actually build projects and get paid. You can join the Ethereum online community and find an Ethereum developer job at consensus. So, which is really, really cool. So this is just a glossary. So just to go over again, there are 10 things that this job kit highlights. The first thing talks about why you should become a blockchain developer. Second thing it highlights is growth rate for blockchain developers. The third thing is salaries for blockchain developers. The fourth thing is firms that are hiring blockchain developers. Fifth thing is where to look for blockchain jobs. Six is uh, blockchain knowledge. Uh, yeah, it's blockchain knowledge. Where is that? Where look for blockchain knowledge? Yeah, blockchain knowledge. So the basic stuff that you should know, like consensus algorithms and charting and stuff like that. Seventh thing it highlights is cryptography. The eighth thing is different programming languages that you can learn to be a blockchain developer on Ethereum. Ninth thing, example of blockchain, a blo an example of a blockchain developer job description. And lastly, top Ethereum developer resources. So get the job kits, download it from Consensus. I personally think it's a good tool. And when I say one of the fastest ways to become a blockchain developer is because when I was getting all this information, I had to go to different resources, look for this, look for that. But this gives you everything you need. Basically the, the foundation, not everything you need, but a good foundation is on this developer job kit. So definitely something you should download in my opinion and look through it. And um, I'm sure it will add a lot of value to you. And uh, yeah, hope this helps. Hope this is great. Smash the likes and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, I wish for you is that you learn how to code because coding is changing and will change the world, especially this blockchain, the spirited ledger technology space. In my personal opinion, those who get involved early will greatly impact the future. And if that's you, then let's go change the world, baby.